welcome to an all new episode of Hatching for Health with your host, Jessica Hatch. Did you know in the United States alone, we are spending over $4.3 trillion on healthcare costs, more than anywhere in the world. The costs were driven up during COVID extremely because of all of the needs of chest x-rays, all the different things that were going on. So what better way to cut costs than to come up with a more affordable x-ray option? Well, NovoCam did just that and we have Mr. Reza here as a co-founder. So welcome to the show. Thanks for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, it is so great to, to finally get you on and, and really dig into what this device is doing around Houston and, and many other states already. Thank you. So I do want to know just a little bit about your background, like what kind of got you started um, you know, with all this entrepreneurs, entrepreneurship. So background engineering, and I've always loved entrepreneurship. It's all it's all about finding a problem and then trying to find a solution for it and then trying to commercialize it. And then, yeah, we dabbed into a few spaces. The, the, the first company that I had was a medical lab, was a laboratory, okay. material laboratory. We had it for a few years. Then I entered into upstream oil and gas. Mm -hmm. And then from that to med tech. And then again, another upstream oil and gas, which we had a successful exit a few years ago. And then into medical device. And it all basically, the push was from pandemic. Mm -hmm. Pandemic, one of the, there was, there was major demand for x-ray and usually demand represents a problem that need to be solved. Yeah. So we digged into that problem and we figured that if we can create a, a more uh, quickly available x-ray system, mm -hmm. we can satisfy that demand. Because x-rays conventionally, they used to be bulky, expensive, cost mm -hmm. to own, uh, the, higher cost of operations, the higher cost of ownership. So we had all those in mind to bring them down and create something more nice. compact. Yeah, something like this, because it, it definitely is just that. I mean, it, you kind of came in, it was like in a briefcase. It's like something that you can just exactly. pack up and go. Um, so tell us a little bit about like the technology behind it. So the technology comes uh, from a few spaces. One is the image processing, which in this technology, we partnered with the best of the best in their, in our chain of supply. Mm -hmm. We digged through so many suppliers and then find the best one to be able to offer this as a package. And the package uh, is a digital radiology panel, the x-ray generator, and a software, acquisition software. Okay. The technology that it uses is called MLP, multi-layered processing, mm -hmm. which takes into account all the hand movement of human and human errors and the imperfections in the angles of shootings, all that takes into account and compiles an image mm -hmm. that is satisfactory to, it's actually a very high quality image that's uh, satisfactory to the radiologists. Okay, and, and this is exactly what, I mean, for someone to be qualified to actually, you know, shoot the x-rays with this, it's just the same way you, you know, require certification to be an x-ray technician, um, you know, or doctors, of course, if they, um, had that additional licensing during their, you know, their exactly. schooling as well. Um, but it's not something anybody can pick up and, and do images with. Exactly. Usually technology grows ahead of the regulations. You bring a new technology and then regulation has to go and vet it and confirm to it and uh, improve their, their regulatories and their, of course. all this stuff. And yeah, so all the uh, conventional regulations still applies to this equipment, but it's much faster to set up. It takes three minutes to set up the whole system. When you press the shutter, it takes three seconds. You have the image, not only on the laptop, but also on the cloud, which we launched recently, Incredible. Novel Pax. It's a picture archiving and communication system. Yeah, that course. basically, yes. That like the so, MRI machines and all the others are using. Like all of them they use, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have that with the system as well. The idea is to basically offer that as a subscription base. Mm -hmm. That if a clinic wants to offer x-ray, they can have this done in one day. And then if they think it's not a fit, they can always cancel the subscription. Okay. So we help them to lower the cost of uh, entry. Yeah, not the having to purchase cost. the equipment. Can, yes, they can subscribe. And as they basically generate revenue with offering that service, they can pay for the subscription. That too, yeah. That and is... the main reason was really pandemic. Because mm -hmm. if you look at the trend at the early 2000s, we had SARS. Mm -hmm. And then 2012, we, SARS was in China. 2012, we had MERS in Saudi Arabia, the Middle East yeah. Respiratory Syndrome. And then 2021, 2020, we had the COVID. So the pattern shows us every 10 years, 
we have some sort of respiratory pandemic. Mm -hmm. So the next one is probably 2030. At least what the trend, what the uh, pattern says. Exactly. And it's the first time that the population of Earth mm -hmm. is nearing 8 billion people. 60 Isn't years ago. Oh. Exactly. Post uh, World War II, we were only 2 billion people. That's four times more. 4x in only six decades. Goodness. So with that comes a lot of risk. Of course. One is the shared space that we live on, mm -hmm. which tend to be each individual, they spend about 87% of their time in, indoors. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of shared air that we take into our lungs. So that's one component of risk. And then uh, the skin course. contact. Yeah. Hence, we created the hand sanitizer and the HEPA compliant filters for to minimize those risks. Mm -hmm. So with x-ray, I mean, it's something that Obviously, during like all these different pandemics, being able to get a chest X-ray, I mean, mm -hmm. how important that is and the access to it wasn't necessarily there with all the limitations with, you know, mm -hmm. being able to enter in different facilities, whether it be hospital clinics. Um, I mean, places were open, but the moment somebody got COVID inside, it was like a whole office would shut down. And, you know, it's like mm -hmm. so even the medical facilities that were allowed to be open um, being medically necessary, there were still limitations to that. And so, I mean, this allowed to go out to a patient's home, right? Exactly. Outpatient care is one objective of this device. And that, that alone is huge. I mean, and from a financial standpoint um, and, you know, just being able to do that. And, and does insurance pay even, you know, whenever it's been being it's done in a home? It's the same code of insurance, just like a regular x-ray. Okay. Because it does x-ray and it's FDA approved. Yeah. So it's the same. And you mentioned, you touched on a good point. The idea of it was to make it available. We mm -hmm. can set this up in a parking lot on mm -hmm. the God forbid next pandemic and start shooting x-rays. Yeah, they're doing swabs on the one cost. corner of the parking lot and doing chest x-rays on the other. Exactly. You know, I mean, um, exactly. the, the importance of that. Um, let me, I'm actually, do you mind if I hold it? Go Just ahead, kinda, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, to understand kind of the weight of it. I mean, it's obviously, yeah, I mean, it's almost like an entire computer in there. Yeah, if you um, notice, we have some iconized, like icon, like cartoon figures. Yeah. Because we take this to the children's hospital. That's one of the demo units that we take to children's That's hospital. That's great. And they and love it. One of the feedback that we get from the children's hospital is they're afraid of those bulky machines. First mm -hmm. of all, the room is dark. It's huge. They haven't seen such a setup before. The humming noise is another component of fear yeah. for them. For this thing, every kid had seen a camera. It's, just, it's like pretending I want to take a picture of you. Do you want to be in a picture? Yeah, it's like an oversized and it only takes camera. One second, you have the. So how would it like? Let's just say that sure. um, you know so, I was a a child there and I was going to do like my hand X-ray, like something okay, happened. Yeah. So the so system. What would I need to do? I'm not going to actually shoot an X-ray because we need to be wearing apron and all the regulatory. But I'm going to show you the setup. Okay. So there are three buttons. One button here. One here. One here. You press them. Okay. And that's then three minutes the system boots up okay so with and with turning it on it has like kind of those lights to, to guide you but you just won't actually shoot it correct so now this is on the laptop is on mm -hmm. that's the environment that it shows okay. the x-ray after it's and so taken you would do that. correct it's all ready and that icon says that the system it's all the connectivity is maintained and okay. it's ready for image but when i press the button that's the collimation area. The lit up, that means the area that's going to be exposed to x-ray. Okay. And then I hold the button. And you would click. And I click, hold it for three seconds, it shoots the x-ray. And then the x-ray gets compiled on the software and then you see it on the... It's like immediately there. Right there. So with specialists, right I mean, like podiatrists, chiropractors, like they like to get x-rays immediately for their plan exactly. of care. Right so this, these are huge you know, opportunities for them too to have that mobility within their offices, um, Correct. you know, and, and the affordability, like a combination of many things, mm -hmm. really. Even as far as the workflow improvement, as soon as they take the image, instead of, because based on HIPAA, HIPAA basically says you have to burn them on a disc mm -hmm. and then give it to, if you want to send it to a radiologist or if you want to give it to patient. Mm -hmm. Ours goes to PAC system, normal PACs, which yeah. is HIPAA compliant. Of course. Yeah. And it can be like and immediately read. It can be, the access can be given to anyone, could mm -hmm. be to the patient or the radiologist or whoever that's involved okay. that needs to have information about that image. Even they can, we can encrypt it. We're working on the next step is to work on the AI to be able to, once we sell the hardware uh -huh. and the software with it, years from now, we will have a pool of images, let's say a million image. Then mm -hmm. we, can, we have enough data to be able to run yeah. AI. Oh, that's and great. With that, yeah. we can, yes, start offering yeah, like a suggestive to the doctor, suggestion to the doctor that we have seen these this cases 20,000 times mm -hmm. and it's out of 
that 20,000 times, 90% it could be this problem. That's great. Yeah, just kind yeah. of collecting all of that would be, would be huge. So, I mean, you're just from a competition standpoint, um, what other big corporations maybe like in the market, like kind of some of the established brands that That's you're That's a great question. For the, it's a, ours is a niche space. Mm -hmm. And the reason that we got into it was pandemic. And then the next thing was the rural clinics, rural hospitals in mm -hmm. the United States. About 30 million Americans annually go to those clinics, about 10%. And many of them, they don't have x-rays. Yeah. Because of the cost of owning and operating one, mm -hmm. you have to have a room. The real estate footprint has to be there. Yeah, you have to course. have an office dedicated and then a person certified that can't run it. Mm -hmm. It has to be plugged in with all the stuff that comes with the conventional yeah. ones. This one, you can just have it there. When the patient comes in three minutes, you set it up, you take the x-ray and you turn it off, pack it back into a very small luggage, carry yeah. on size and then keep it in the, in the clinic. Yeah. And going back to like children, I mean, obviously going into the hospitals, which you know, do physically have x-rays, but um, kind of not having it be as frightful with it being so small and compact. But I know with like, just from hatching for health standpoint, like mm -hmm. some of these children have um, such rare conditions where they're not really able to even leave the home. Like it's just not safe for them. Mm -hmm. um, or they're, you know, going through a, a downslide of whatever condition right. they have, you know, causing their immune system to be that much more, you know, um, like unhealthy and where they, right. you know, so like this is something that, you know, basically someone could go out with it and kind mm -hmm. of get an X, X ray or X rays up for them mm -hmm. to kind of provide back to their, you know, primary care doctor. Correct. The provider, they can get cross trained and then offer X ray. Mm -hmm. A good example of it, we have, uh, we're working with this uh, partner. Their business motto is creating micro clinics. Okay. The idea is to have those initial point of diagnostic for patient in under 300 square feet. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the devices that they use for their x-ray. Okay. And with that minimal cost, and then they get a nurse practitioner, they cross-train them to also be certified to take x-ray, depending on the state that they uh -huh. uh, practice Reside. in. Mm -hmm. Correct. And then, so with that, we can offer that extra service. Of course. All of a sudden, now they have x-ray that they can serve to however many... Yeah, I think you mentioned that, like, even a, cl a current client is looking at taking it to, like, I think you said, like, Nepal. To Nepal, correct. Yeah, like, a, almost example. like a missionary um, type circumstance where they're going there and, you know, utilizing their medical skills to help over there and being they able to... They reached out to us, actually. They said that I, every year, him and a bunch of his staff, they all go to Nepal for a month mm -hmm. for medical missionary, and they help the underprivileged community, especially focused on children. Mm -hmm. And he wanted one of those. He said, this is the best thing that I can take and start offering and take x-ray. Yes, that's incredible. Yeah. Well, we, we do have to wrap up, but it's been incredible having you on. And I know I'm in the market to also get one of these. It's, it's such a value add for the good. clinic. So. Of course, thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure. Definitely. Certainly. And thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Hatching for Health. Mm -hmm.